To the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Okay, town administrator update. Hi there. Hello. All right, so I have medium list. I uh, just wanted to, I guess, more for the, the public because we want to make sure that um, people see follow-up. So the fans that you guys, you guys both think, I think know this now, but the fans that uh, Mr. Anderson had uh, donated, um, unfortunately, are not going to work in this room um, based on some conversation between the electrician and code enforcement. So I did talk to him today and tell them that you regretfully weren't able to put them up after all, and uh, he'll be coming to pick them up. Okay. Right. Appreciate it anyways. Yep. That was nice of him to offer. We, I think, are coming to the end of the road with a copier downstairs. Um, the staff down there has had patience as they've had to come upstairs to, to copy certain types of things. Um, and now they've got a scanning issue going on. Uh, we had a grounding issue that the copier company found when they installed the last one, uh, which turned into some electrical work. You guys have seen the bills and the pictures. Um, apparently, some drilling went on of some wires um, and did some grounding out. Long story short, their new copier should be here by the end of next week at the latest. And we were able to get out of that lease. They charged us a $100 stocking fee, but since there was really nothing wrong with the first one, that was fairly fair. Yeah. Okay. Um, there is a, um, Kim, I think it gets more for you. You're the liaison, a Warren Finance and School Committee meeting this Thursday, 6 o'clock at the school. At the school board meeting. At the, at the school, school board I'm sorry, school board meeting is that Warren of Finance will be present at. It's five o'clock. Is it five? Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Five o'clock Thursday. Um, I have a um, quote for the poll stations. I told you that the fire chief was in. He had us put the new signs in, check some other things throughout the building. One of the concerns is that there is no way in the building to notify anybody if there is a fire so if michelle is in her office or something downstairs there's no pull stations it's an older building there's no way to short of calling and hoping everybody gets out of the building so um we looked at bare minimals and talked to the fire chief about how many we'd have to put in what rooms um we're looking at a total of um, five manual pull stations 1250 dollars which seems fairly reasonable so with your approval um i did have the treasurer we took a look at building maintenance, which is where the account that uh, it would come out of. Um, you know, saw some of my emails. I was concerned with all the electrical bills that we might not be able to do the cameras. Uh, it turns out after all is said and done with the cleaning, electrical, the mowing contracts that we're committed to, cameras, so forth, um, we're still about $7,500 in there. It doesn't include the shoveling or the trash um, and the miscellaneous handyman services, but um, she feels like we'll be able to stay in it. So okay. are you guys okay with us? Moving forward with the pole yes, station? Yes, definitely. Um, just an update of some of the January meetings that we got notified. Uh, the planning board's keeping their regular meetings. Uh, they're actually meeting three times in January because the way the month falls on the Thursdays, 1st, 3rd, and 5th, they're having their noontime workshops um, on Wednesdays, 8th and 22nd. Do We do have the auditor meeting coming up on the 13th, uh, 6 o'clock upstairs. We have the rec meeting that same evening seven o'clock downstairs uh, conservation is meeting on the 21st Warren and finance is meeting on the 27th and the cemetery is on the 28th and those are all posted online okay I'm looking for a date that you guys can meet with meet to have a conference call with the attorney in regards to the drug testing policy we had some concerns we need to okay. kind of move forward um, so it's going to schedule a, a conference call um, Next two Wednesdays, I have a few booked with other miscellaneous. How about, can I schedule it for the 29th? What day is Five that? Five o'clock. That's a Wednesday. Okay. Wednesday. Yep. So I just have you come in a little early at yep. five, and we'll I'll post it, and we'll schedule a conference call with legal. That'll be the 29th. 29th. Yes. With legal. Is that okay? Yep. So Michelle left me this as kind of an FYI, and I'm going to read it to you because it's um, 
basically says, Dear City of Acton, on close, please find a check for $75.68. This is the result of a lawsuit brought by the Federal Trade Commission, the nation's consumer protection agency. Uh, the FTC sued A1 Gen Janitorial Supply uh, for charging small businesses um, for free samples. Um, somehow through our dues, we were tied into that and we got a portion of the lawsuit. $75.68. All there. <laughs> Well, as we said, um, updated, yeah, once adds, the treasurer asked that you get these updated summary expense reports. Um, so remember you had talked about not wanting individual lines to, to go over without prior approval. So something that you can take home and, and look at. Um, easiest way really to read these is to go down and look through the percentage spent. Yep. Figure if we're in January, you really like all of your lines to be at 50% or less because you still got six months of the fiscal year. Uh, just an update on um, something we're working with the rec, rec department. Uh, they are um, moving forward with their electrical work over there. The individual that's doing the work did come in and fill out the forms that were needed. Uh, the chair has reached out um, for items that she's looking for from Home Depot. Uh, we've been communicating back and forth. Um, we had problems between the Biddeford store and Rochester store, and now something's on back order. So we're waiting to see if the electrician can find something suitable so that we can move forward with that order. But um, everything's done on our end so Jim update it's been about two weeks since we had the meeting um, I met with uh, Peter Baxter and Gail Bovere they went over the list of all of the concerns of the insurance company they've actually tackled probably 75% of them um, in a form that um, I expect will be ple pleasable by the insurance company they've gone through and made you know evacuation plans they've done the drawings and sketches that they're looking for they're putting up signs that are needed to um, appease most of them so we're going to send over what they've done at this point and uh, we do still have some things they're left working on um, but see what May municipal's response is but they are still working on they are working on it diligently great um, just got an email from the um, road committee chair just to make sure that um, you guys are updated this came from the chair she was just asking if there's any continuing education classes that possibly could be held in Acton or close to Acton uh, she noted that there'd been good turnout so she was kind of reaching out to mr. McLean to see if he had anything and she was also reaching out to see what the second round of the stream crossing grant was uh, he did reply saying that they were pretty booked up for classes in the spring but may have something early summer and fall that he would consider acting um, he's got some new classes that um, he may meant he may bring forward uh, in regards to the steam crossing grant award um, he expects it to be sometime this month hopefully so you may hear something and I think she forwarded that to will who's not here so he should know about that we're just moving right along <laughs> Ah, da, 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 da. That's not for you. Uh, we are in the middle of foreclosures, unfortunately, for the 2017 tax years. We have 16 accounts left. Last payment for foreclosures is February 11th. Last payment for checks is January 24th. So hopefully we'll get that down to zero. Uh, we are um, still working on reposting the, the job we're trying to the deputy clerk job we have reached out to some other places to try to post it um, Cheryl's been assisting with that and we found that a lot of places you know we've tried the, the indeed.com and the, some of the more social places that, that they're quite pricey um, so we're gonna run it in smart shopper again we're putting it on social media yep. she did get May municipal we put it on that site um, she, there's a couple of state sites that I think she found career centers so we are still advertising uh, Mr. Tom Gore notified me that the uh, Democratic Party caucus is going to be Sunday, March 8th at 4 o'clock. I expect uh, his postings and everything will come forward, but he did um, want to check to make sure the hall was available and then it worked for me as registrar. So that's the date for that. Did you want to give a summary of the so one of the policies just to kind of in case Tony's following along at home one of the policies that um, we've kind of tabled for the last couple of weeks is the demolition policy today you met with um, the two department heads that it affects the most Do you want to give an update on why we're going to be tabling that again tonight for a little while yeah I'll do that 
Um, we met with uh, Ken Paul and uh, Bobby Mann. Um, we've been asking people to um, go down to codes to get a demo permit. That way there, um, when the demo comes up to the transfer station, we know it's you know from town and all that. And after discussion today, um, uh, the code officer is not a really doesn't seem to think it's really doing a whole lot on his end of it and but bobby likes it for the simple reason it's kind of keeping people you know honest. honest um so we talked about it a little bit today and um, we're thinking what we may end up doing is getting rid of the permit process which was free but it was a lot of you know chasing who's you know whatever but uh and end up bobby's gonna uh, look into uh um, doing what we're doing some other towns are doing is um, possibly charging for some demo to offset some of our demo cost and um, that way there uh, you know even if something does slide through that we it's not from here at least we're getting covered at some point so um, all the other towns are doing it so he's he's just gonna go th give us a small list and some suggestions of what the uh, you know what he thinks that we ought to be uh, charging you know for certain stuff certain and and of course, like this year, what are we? What are we? Uh, about seventy-five hundred dollars higher this year on yes, our demo cost already. Yep. Already than we were last year, so um, we might be able to offset that cost a little bit. So the recycling too has gone down a lot. I mean, that used to be a better revenue, but it's not now. So um, uh, we're, 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 what he's going to do is he's going to uh, look at the what the other towns are, are charging, and we're just going to get an average. You know, make sure that we're fair. And um, but it's just going to be on the demo and certain other couple little things, you know, maybe some TVs and you know, re refrigerators and stuff like that to offset some of the cost. Okay. Um, and that, oh, sorry, no, I was just going to say, you know, and then I'll make it easier on downstairs too. Yep. Uh, yep. So that's all I have. It's just a matter of you reviewing the warrant, uh, the um, agenda. I didn't make copies of it because I didn't know if that's what you wanted. Carol, you have my keys. Anything you want to add? Subtract. Let's see here. Should we? I think we're gonna probably table the policies for tonight. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't think we're. I don't think we're doing any anyhow. Okay. The policies. You can take that off. Well, I, I just leave it on there as old business, so we don't okay. get it. Okay. Okay. All right. right. We'll okay. table it. We won't All say right. anything about it. But if I take it off, then the following week. Okay, that's, that's fine then. <laughs> yep. So we just won't, because we don't have anything to sign. Collection contract. Did you? I guess we'll get info on that. Um, Are we still going to do the executive session tonight? Yeah, I think so. Because we, he yeah. said we could call him. Yeah, no, we'll. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. Yeah, no. I did them ahead of time. It's only snowing out. It's snowing like hell about five minutes ago. Is it stopped? Yeah, I don't see yeah, anything. a little bit of this spitting, but the parking lot's white. It's going to rain all weekend, right? It's going to be almost 60 on Saturday from what I hear. It'll be cold tomorrow, though. I got lots to do tomorrow. I'll be out in it. Yeah, I did both. I did two weeks worth. So either you or Ed are gonna have to do the 18th because I wasn't here. Yes. So, but um, I get the ones before that. So we'll just do the fourth and the eleventh. Yep. Yep. And then sets them out here. Hopefully, we can whip through this. What's that? Hopefully we can whip through this. Yeah. 
You good? I am. All right. I'll make a motion to, um, I guess, approve the agendas. I'll second that. Okay. Minutes of the last meeting. I make a here a motion to approve the minutes of the last meeting. And we're not going to do the last meeting. We're going to do the December fourth and December eleventh. Yep, fourth and the eleventh. And uh, I'll make a motion that we accept that. I'll second that. Okay, show of hands. There we go. Okay, so those are done. I'm sorry, so we approve the 4th and the 18th? 4th? Yeah. yeah, we're still... No, not the 18th. Oh, I mean the 4th, 4th and the 11th. 11th. Yeah, yeah, we're still pretty up the 18th. Yeah. Okay, Department Head Committee Chair Updates. Hi, all. Joyce Backsheet Planning Board Chairman. Um, Dave, this, this actually is a little bit... You weren't on the board when this all started, yep. but I'd just like to bring something forward. Um, we know we're still looking for a person. You all haven't made any decision that I know of. Um, I really felt bad. I don't know, I saw the town administrator, Jennifer, maybe before Christmas, just before Christmas, because there were two applicants, and I really felt bad for you. You had to look at me and say, the board doesn't want me to say who it is. I didn't say the board doesn't want me to. What I said is that the board, that's not what but I the said. The board hasn't given me permission. That's correct. Oh, that might be more clear, but that, I mean. But that was the gist of it. You did not have permission correct. to tell me. Right. I mean, we agree on that. Yeah, There's okay. no, I'm not trying to put words in your mouth because I really felt bad for you. Um, on November 7th of 2018, uh, I came before this board with a, an update as we were doing before, you know, we, what we had done for a couple of months. And I said that in July of 2018, a subcommittee was formed to review and update the planning board bylaws. Since the last review had been done in October of 1996. And I attached a copy of those very outdated bylaws um, from 1996 to what I turned in. And um, I also presented the board with the bylaws of the planning board that we put forward. Um, Elise was on the board at the time. And in the last, uh, in, in the uh, membership of the board, uh, in uh, number two, 2.5, when there's a vacancy of any member of the board, the selectman shall, within seven days of its occurrence, publish a vacancy. Interested persons shall meet with the planning board chair, vice chair, chair or vice chair, two full members and the CEO who will send recommendations to the select men for action within 30 days. Now, I wanted to make sure that that's, that has been in our bylaws since 1990, as I stated before, 1996. This time it didn't happen that way. Has it all. ever happened? Sorry. Has it, has it ever happened? Yes. yes. Always. Okay. Okay. And, and Always. just, I mean, if I can just add, I just want to step in for a piece of clarity, especially for everybody watching. So this is one of the few times, I mean, I've been, I've been in this position for many, many years, and this is one of the few times, and I want you all to, to think of yourselves as one of those two individuals, that we've had more than one person interested in the same spot. Now, the first thing we did was, I did, is I spoke to legal. I spoke to our legal counsel. I spoke to um, Joe Lankowski, who was our land use attorney, and I told him of the situation straight out. The, the board, and I also have a response, an email from May Municipal, that the board appreciates the planning board bylaws. They do not have to follow them 100%. That's not their policy. You're a subcommittee of them. The concern for the board of selectmen is simply this. If we put out both names, we, they did not want a meeting to happen in public where the two names were weighed pros and cons. We wouldn't want to do it if it was Dennis and Susan. We don't want a group of people to get together and say, well, Dennis is A, B, and C. Well, Susan's an A. It just wasn't fair. It wasn't Nobody ethical. has ever said, and I'm well, sorry. Let me, I just want to finish. Let me, well, let me just, okay. So, so that was the reasoning behind the board saying, 
you know what this is a really a gray area we've got two really good people that will serve the town of Acton very well and it's a tough decision let's get some legal counsel to find out if we have to follow that and really what the best thing for us to do is because they didn't want to publicly announce those names they were trying to protect the people involved and and you know what I mean and you, you have to appreciate to that to some extent so, so that's why they did well, what they did they haven't had a quorum since then and it was on there that we've was always had a quorum correction we have always had a quorum the board of selectmen haven't all oh, the, yes. all three board of selectmen members haven't been present since the two names move forward okay unfortunately as most of you saw ed walked out at literally one minute of, one minute of six he got called out for plowing i expected them to make that decision tonight yeah. i don't know if the two of them will do it without them they've got a little more information but they didn't intentionally not take follow the planning board's right. bylaws that was their choice and according to our legal team well that was an opine from him the other thing where we disre disagree with that is we wouldn't ask to make it public any more than you make public when you're doing you did fire people this year uh, yep. at some level yep it wasn't really made public was it that no. wasn't made public no no the personnel put, that was a personnel they were hiring I someone was, that's different what? either myself or ed we were the ones that did the, did you do the uh no no, no i wasn't with the you fire know, uh, i did the first empl round employment that's i was completely the only different. one that knew who those people were other than obviously jen well of course and, of course but, you know, you but i mean about multiple even people but even if but what's, had the, what's the issue what, what are we getting to here well we're not following their bylaws she's trying to point that out that we're not following do you believe this is going to be an issue with the way we pick the, the person that goes on that board and, and Joyce and when you and I spoke about this I mean your last recommendation because I thought you understood where the board was coming from because you told me that and and your happy medium was that we were going to meet with code enforcement right. let him help make a decision between the two names and that you would be fine with that I uh, did say that exactly okay. and I am but and that's where basic, it left off let me finish now the basic thing is when we and it's actually from state too we have to have bylaws we write our bylaws we made sure we brought them up to date mm -hmm. yep. and to hear well just because you're there but just because you have bylaws doesn't mean we have to follow them it is for a group of people who put in hours and hours for no pay it's a little bit disconcerting and it shouldn't be it was never intended like that no, Joyce. And and we've I, had so many conversations we were, about it i don't it. believe we were trying to do it and, and we haven't we haven't made a decision anyways no, but, no. okay and um and course, it wasn't just intentional to not follow your bylaws. This was just a different set of circumstances, and that's and the you're supposed why we to all, You're way. supposed to be able to set bylaws to decide what your committee is going to do, but you can't set bylaws to deciding what some another committee is going to do. And you're, the bylaws say that the board of selectmen are going to do this. They're going to follow this process in choosing someone, and that was the the gray area. I mean, you can decide what the planning board is going to do as a group, but you can't decide that the uh, board of and, selectmen. And our, our, our bylaws don't tell you what to do. Well, it says that the, the selectmen 20, will have for the last 23 years the ability to meet in private not in public not at one of these meetings to meet with any person who wanted to you know yeah take, you and i talked let me finish take one of the positions has been meet them see uh you know what's a good fit yeah. what isn't a good fit and give your recommendation big word recommendation right. not go to the selectmen and say you got to do this see, see i, the I recommendation the, the, there's one issue so with that and I, i've thought about it and as a double-edged sword because you if you want to stack a committee okay and you have a preference of who you want okay and i know who the two people are mm -hmm. and and i'm pretty sure that your committee will obviously like one person over the other okay no no just let me finish okay and and say the select board says you know what maybe we want a new face okay and but you guys go and do your valuation which is already pre preset okay i'm just assuming i'm just assuming okay, okay? Well, so say it is that. <laughs> okay I'll, i'm gonna be as careful as i feel like and then so you're gonna come up here and you're gonna make a motion tell us we think the person that you feel because you you know whatever and then we say you know what we decide to go the other way it, you know it is what it is but uh because it's just a recommendation but um 
you know, if you feel that you have to meet with this these two people, then I guess we'll, I was I just going to say. I mean, if it's whatever. not going to be out in the open, yeah, and, and well, but what, but okay, Joyce and I not, talked about having an executive session, and she indicated that just you were going to be present. Remember that you and Ken would be present, Ken, uh, Ken and then the rest of the committee be didn't have to be there. Do you remember what what after that? I said, as long as Ken is there. That makes now sense. this is a real. Right. This is something that hasn't happened in 23 years. Yep. Okay, so I just would like it to be on the record that. Unless there's, an, and we still don't see an app, and I'm not speaking just for me. When I announced at our first meeting, January 2nd of the new year, I had four people jump down my net. We haven't met anybody, was, you know, the battle cry. Well, why not? You know, we usually meet them, and we certainly don't come up here. Four people told you that? Yeah. Like they actually knew that? Yeah. No, no, for what he's saying, she's but saying there's four people from the committee. From yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Because, right, they... At the end of the day, I mean, it's not they, just the planning board. They all board. referred it's, back to this. You know, if you think yeah. back to the REC, if you think back to the Warren Finance, the board has never, never publicly said, you've never heard us say, you know, Dennis Long and Susan Meehan are, 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 are want to be on this committee. We want you to pick one of the two right here in public. It's just not something we wanted to do. Jennifer, you're taking it down an avenue. Well, that but we, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to explain to why we're avenue. doing it, that, that why they did it the way they did, because they but didn't want anybody's it, feelings finish. You're taking hurt. it down an avenue that we've never gone down. Because you've never had two people interested, well, and and honestly, we well, we, we originally all is had that one. why this is? I was going to say right. because it's the two people. This is never. I don't. We've never had okay. two people generally, and let, I mean we've had you've had two appointments in front of you. I'm not saying for planning board, but maybe for another committee right. where you might look at them and you might, but you've never publicly just said. You know, I mean, we don't we don't want to offend anybody. We don't want. You know what I mean? You said that to me when you and I met. Right. And the thing is, and I stand behind that. Well, of course you do. Because our committee would not want to offend anybody either. We wouldn't be doing it to offend someone. Right, and that's why we talked about looking into an executive a, session. If the planning need, board I'm, could I'm legally talking, go into a, an I'm executive still session. I'm talking, Jennifer. We had a very, we, we need, not a, we have had in the past, and we need a very diverse board. So you, mean, need, you mean you would give <clears throat> a new person that's never been on that committee uh, that board, mm -hmm. the same fair share as someone has already been on that committee. Why not? I just don't believe it. Well, you don't have to believe it. And, and I just and don't believe it. You're choice. right. I don't have to believe it, and oh. I can. I can also put a person I feel that is better for that committee. Um, better if you, person. If you does feel, it? <laughs> but anyway, best. We, we we really want the best person for the position, and right. we really and we really got to start having okay. some open minds. Then let's bring this back on track, David. Yeah. It's so not a matter so of the meet, best You want to meet with the... Well, one of them may withdraw. So before, can we have our executive session yeah. before we go any further and speak yeah, to Ed? We're, because we're still trying to discuss this. Okay, fine. So but the, what I would like is, if for 23 years... Tw but, but to say that those bylaws uh, have been Jennifer, followed for 23 years is not true, Joyce. Let me finish the sentence. It is. It's not. It's rather disrespectful to say that. Well, let's talk it about is. what you really but say anyway. behind closed doors about the rest of the planning board and what's disrespectful and how you and want to handle it. Jennifer, Sorry. just try to stick. Um. Jennifer, David, I just wanted to say that. Thank you for listening. We just would, even to, if, if we had been asked, look, we've got person A, John Doe. We've got person B, Mary Smith. And we're looking at them, and we would rather handle this keeping you all out of it. Keeping who all out of it? The planning board. We, out that's of exactly it. what I said to you from the beginning. You agreed with me. You actually said that. I mean, Joyce, I respect you, you never so told much. You me a name. I, no, I didn't. No, because the board told said. me not to. Okay. That was out of respect. Well, uh, Jennifer, I'm not going to go down that but road. But you're not saying me. what you're saying in my office. I said exactly what okay. we said in our office. And, and honestly, at the end it. of the day, this is all for nothing because let's we go may forward only, what then we move forward exactly and we're making a bigger deal out of this until we come up with let's see who we have our executive <laughs> session and we come up with the list of people and it may not be a list of people we may have someone that's what you out, say that's what but you're it, saying it doesn't tonight, matter but. at the end of the day you know um if it comes to a point where we have two individuals and, it, and all it takes is to have you guys meet with them i have no problem with that you can make all the recommendations you want um, you're still going to choose yeah, we are. Right, right. And, and, and I have no issues with, you know, any committee making a recommendation. Right. I but may not agree with them. We are in How agreement. Right, so we it's We are not. in total agreement with that. And, and I was anyways, but I just, at the end of the day, 
uh, making a big deal out of it. It's you know it's still a decision of this board, and and we want to make the best decision we can. We just want to make yeah. sure it's fair. All right, let's go that way. And Joyce, I have told them that you've asked for the name, so they're clear as far as our communications. I mean, you guys know that they've wanted to know who they were. I've told you yes. that. Yeah. I don't want her to think that I'm withholding. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, 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 Michelle, I, got I, don't, an issue I have with no issue with you on this. I know our conversation, so <clears throat> it, it would be better just letting it be directed this way. Truly, mm -hmm. thank you, David, for the time. Moving Thanks. forward, we'll make sure of that. Thank you, Joyce. All righty, where are we? Here? Oh, department heads, we're still on that. Any other department heads? heads? Okay, I guess we're going to move on to old business. Uh, Paul, sign the policies. We're going to oh, table go that. To B. Yeah. Um, Goat Hill. We're going to table that. Um, Carl Davis, I spoke to him yesterday, is still working with the what we're calling the quote winning bidder um, with that additional information you wanted. Well, something still, like that, where we're still figuring. Well, we yeah, that, I mean, we stuff. we took you took one completely out of the pool based yeah. on the number right. five times higher. Um, he's still working on that. Okay, uh, collections contract. That went. So the attorney has reviewed it. Okay. And I had it. Did you guys get a chance to review it? I did. I have not. This is the company that has that gives 33%. Uh, this is the one that was recommended from the billing company, and uh, the treasurer and fire chief have reviewed it. Did he just review it? Did he change it? He made anything? a couple of uh, grammar issues, uh, okay. nothing of substance. I showed the treasurer uh, right before tonight's meeting the yep. changes that he made, and she didn't have any concerns is, with them. This is one that uh, Rick was rooting for. Well, not rooting for, but this suggested. Is, well, yeah, he suggested, too, there wasn't much difference between the right. two, short of the percentage that they, the percentage that they, they get out of the collection fee. We just need to sign it. And make a motion to make sign motion. it if that's the contract you want. Yeah, we discussed this quite a yeah, bit. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Last. Yeah. yeah and the last step over, that you wanted was to make sure that yeah. legal was okay with the town entering into it. So I'll and make a. Right. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Every, yep. I'll make a motion to enter into this contract with First Financial Resources, Inc. on January 8th. I'll second that. Righty. Do we need to sign anything or just? Oh, yeah, I believe on the second or third page, just looking for your signature. Oh, yeah, there we go. Where are we? Uh, just one right there. Mm -hmm. I'll get it. Go ahead. My name's longer. Takes longer. Okay, so that's done. So then now we're going to go, we got the collections, uh, CEO, copier. Nothing new. Hopefully it's off the agenda by next week. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll move down to Jim. Um, nope, nothing new. That, yeah. yep. Okay. Capital Improvement Committee. Well, um, what are we going to do? Well, I guess talk with Dennis <laughs> a little bit. Um, uh, I mean. Dennis, we you, can Yeah, can you come up for a minute? I guess I just, I want to talk a little bit. Um, as I say, you're having a meeting on the 27th, right? Right. And you are asking. I'm asking. You? I'm asking the departments uh, what they what they see. Um, looking down the road as a five-year plan, okay. so that everybody is in the room having the same conversation. Okay. They can hear what everybody else is saying, and I have explained to. Uh, and I apologize, Jen, I haven't talked to you yet, uh, other than when I come up and <laughs> scheduled the meeting yesterday. That's but cool. there's also, you had people out here. So 
Um, and I've explained that this meeting isn't designed for a debate on what the town sees they need or the roads or the fire department or the transfer station or the rec or whatever. It's just so that everybody can sit down in the room and understand where everybody else is coming from. Okay. Uh, there's no obviously commitment from these people and it might not be the same type of plan that is slutman that you guys would require uh, or want. I, I've got no idea. This is just their, basically their opinions mm -hmm. and everybody's sitting in the room uh, so far, to best of my knowledge, at least what's been said to me is that um, all the departments uh, are in favor of this, okay. the school department. Uh, Jen hasn't said to me, this is a great idea, but she hasn't said to me, I don't agree with this either. So, uh, like I said, we haven't had this conversation, but uh, everybody else I've talked to has thought it was a good idea. Yeah. Uh, and. I don't look at this as a capital, uh, a, a municipal capital improvement plan that would be accepted by the selectmen or anything. This is more just an informational thing from the okay. departments. I think he was making what, more of a wish list, right? You wanted to hear what everybody, yeah. w what kind of things they'd like to see purchased in the next five years. Right, and, and so it really, really wouldn't be a, a plan. If but I could, could give, it be? If I give an example. Could, could uh, your committee do that, though, instead of starting a whole another capital Mu improvement committee can well, it, it, finance work on that it would be up to what the slotman would want well, right. from we the department we were talking about it and, right. and i kind of had a little gripe with the whole deal because we want we've been talking about a, a capital improvement committee yeah. and we said we were going to do something after new year's we were going to you know set the rules of what the committee was going to do and all that right like um, um mr waterhouse had mentioned and uh but then we get with that they're having a capital improvement meeting so mm -hmm. so what I, what i'm what we're looking at right now is would it be beneficial to us or counterproductive to us if we turn around and create a new committee when you already have a committee starting. doing what the committee is already going to do i i guess not knowing what the expectations would be of the slot man, I, I don't You'd know what to, to say about that. You'd have to figure that one out, but, you know, work on it with you. I just, I just don't want to see the department heads going to the finance committee, giving their wish list, then turn around and go into another committee that does the same thing and get the same wish list. I'm just... Yeah, I don't want to be counterproductive. And it, you guys have, you know, we got enough committees in town. Uh, the, you know, we got we're having we're having a hard enough time putting people on committees. Uh, we the, originally when we talked about doing the, uh, um, the the capital improvement committee was to get committee members, uh, get a finance committee member, um, you know, different members of other committees and department heads, put them together and let them do their thing. But it, it sounds like the meeting that you're having on the 27th is doing that. doing that, right? It's all from the departments in town. Right. I know, but you're doing but, but, exactly but, what we uh, wanted to do in the first place. Right. And if it's something you don't think you, you, you want to do with that committee, that, that's fine, and I'll keep working on this capital improvement. We're just wondering if, is it just better to let Warrant and Finance meet with these people? Is there a way you can incorporate it into kind of the budget? Right. It's like a, a, if this is something the Slutman wants to do, I'd bring it to the committee and Could see you? if they're interested. I mean, um, see? I mean, it's, it's fine with me. Because it's, it's the, the, the committee. issue we were having before was the people that wanted to be on that committee were all in the finance committee anyways. Right. I, so at this point in time, it's like a subcommittee of the finance you? committee. Because yes. you're talking finances. When you go to the finance committee, when I went to the finance committee, I they always want to see a five-year plan, mm -hmm. blah, 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 blah. It was all the same stuff that the, the, the capital improvement committee would want to see. The department heads themselves are, are responsible for making up their own budgets in any ways. They always propose it to the finance committee. It wouldn't make sense to propose it to your committee, then to take and turn around and propose it to the, another committee that does almost the same thing that you're already doing. You know what I'm saying? No, well, it's up to you guys. If you guys, like I said, I'll take it to the committee, and if they want to do it, yeah, then, then you, I it's mean, fine. I mean, I'll work with you. Yeah. You know, I'll come to the meetings, and I mean, I know I'm not your liaison. My, my, my purpose was not to 
take away from what you guys were planning on doing. Well, it, it, it kind of did, but at the same time, maybe it kills two birds with one not, stone. Not intentionally, but no. I <laughs> mean, I've been I've been talking about this for a long time. Well, right. And, and, when, and we've also been talking about the Capital Improvement Committee. And, right. But this this may work It would be better well. to try to combine it. You know, I, I honestly, to find anybody to get on another committee is hard enough to do in well, the first place. Well, I say. We have openings on so, some now. Um, what I'm, what I, and I don't know what you think, but what I think we are, see if the, their committee can meet and talk about it and see if that's what they want to do. No. I mean, go ahead and have your, your meeting you're having, but maybe at that meeting, talk with them. Don't we'll have the conversation at a meeting. You don't have to have anything special. Because that's our next meeting. And if they said no, then, then I'll get He's back on to the work. He's on the 27th. The recommendations. We don't have to set any new more bylaws or anything on <laughs> another committee. They've already got their... Their, their their bylaws anyways right and they can make the same well they got their bylaws it proven budgets correct right yeah no yeah. an ordinance an ordinance same They're working on policies, policies. Okay. okay i'm sorry i misspoke and uh you know you can make your recommendations just like any any other more i i guess my just pros, big cons, difference kind of i see between what i was we were talking about and what I thought the Slutman was talking about. And if I could use the school for an example, mm -hmm. the, the school for, I'm gonna say 30 years, um, has had a um, capital improvement plan, a, a five year plan at the minimum. Right. <clears throat> and when this was done, it gets approval of the school board and so it's ongoing and there's always a, a document there that you can look at mm -hmm. and to the best of my knowledge and correct me if i'm wrong jen we have no documentation in town for these five-year plans or three-year plans or anything for any of the departments in town mm -hmm. so we have no guideline to go by yeah. down the road you just call and plan and that's expired for the most that's part it, yeah that's very much outdated it needs to be updated and, and is that something that warrant and finance can do or is that not in there Right. Comp plan, okay. yeah, that wouldn't be yeah. in there. We'd have to right. change the ordinance. They would, I mean, you're going to be, okay. and not to, right. but you're going right. to be teetering so. on, you know, being careful with the ordinance, giving them okay. another duty that's not listed there. The comprehensive plan right. is and completely that's, different. Right. Than but even the, the, um, capital capital improvement I mean, remember they have an ordinance that says they can do a b you know that they're to do a b c and d we got to be careful not to add e if the voters if you, haven't done it if you're going to, if you're because then we can't let them if you're going to right. ask the warrant finance committee <laughs> to do some of the and i don't have an objection to it okay? yeah but we want to do it the right as, way you know, if instead they of want having to. a capital improvement committee formed mm -hmm. and a warrant finance you know if you're going to ask us to do that you need to redo the ordinance for Warren Finance. I, I don't. I don't believe so because when the every, ordinance for every, every Finance hold on, hold on, is very specific. Hold on, hold on. I, I know, but every year that when me, Mr. Mooney, or any other department head would go to the Finance Committee, the Finance Committee asks us every year, "I want to see a five-year plan. I want to see a plan of this. I want to see a plan of that." We did that. I've been on the okay. Warren Finance for six years, David, yeah. and I have never asked anybody for a five-year plan. I can okay. I can beg to differ. I, Ten you years back, I did you, it. You can okay. go back and look at all the tapes you want. Okay. Now, all I'm saying is, warrant finance. The ordinance for warrant finance is very specific. Yeah, it's very specific. The board of selectmen generate a warrant. Yep. Yeah. With articles. Yep. Yeah. The warrant finance committee's task yeah. is to go through these articles. Okay. Determine as best they can. Yep. You know, what's right. best and make recommendations on each article. That's and that's it. it. Okay, so you made my point then. We're not allowed to make a warrant. We can't make an article. So but then, if we ask so this you meeting to we're having on the twenty seventh, why are we having that meeting if there's no warrant? I didn't call it. I'm not a, That was why I'm I had not, the objection I'm, in the first place not in when this meeting was being meeting. taken place. Okay. Okay. And you just made my point for me, and that's what I said in the first place. But now we're roaming off in different areas, so I'm like, well, we might as well utilize it. I don't have a problem doing that. Change the ordinance. Right. Work that's on the ordinance. Well, first okay. we need to see if that's something well, that warrant and finance would bring even it, bring want. it forward to or, or say if forward. they say no. Have Dennis bring it forward to the committee. Yep. And then you know and we'll go from you know, there if, if we have if to. We'll work on a new. All on warrant finance say yes. You know, no problem. You know, and just I another don't part of their job. I'm just, it's very specific. I know, I know that. And I read the I ordinance. Know that ordinance right. Damn near word for word. Yep. Okay. 
And that's why when we canceled that first meeting, it was a big hoorah about it. I didn't have a and, hoorah about it. And I, I know. I, I, I but listen, the listen, chair. listen, listen. And, and that's why we had to cancel until we figured out exactly what we had to do. <clears throat> we get a, a letter in from MMA saying, well, you know, da 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 da. Even though everything in the ordinance says warrant, warrant, warrant. Well, if there's no warrant. A warrant. A warrant. Okay, usually. Yeah. You, I mean, well, I'm going to say I, warrant. I've never had two warrants or three warrants. It's usually just one yeah, warrant. Yeah, A warrant. And anywhere from 50 to 80 articles. Yeah. And it's hard to get through all those articles. We have no warrant right now to put it forward. And if there's no warrant, what is the Warrant Finance Committee meeting for? Exactly. Okay. Per the ordinance. Right. Yep. But if we change the ordinance. I understand Dennis's thing as far as warrant, warrant finance can write policies for what they do. Right. Okay. That's in the last... Uh, very ending of the do, or do we want to start changing what the, the all I'm saying is if you're going to ask warrant and finance to combine that with the ordinance duties yep. that are already yep. there then you got to change the ordinance right so it, it is have your meeting let's get an answer come back to us if the answer is yes then I guess obviously we have to work right with I, I, would, I would just still like to clarify that um, there was no big whatever over canceling that meeting. Right. Well, we had to contact uh, MMA because you didn't like the what we had done. So right, so but, but that was that wasn't. I didn't haul and scream and say anything bad about anybody. Uh, I respectfully asked for it, and when we got the answer, um, MMA said we could have the meeting, yeah. and. So that's why I'm moving forward. Which contradicts what our policy says when it says oh, warrant article. They saw it. I, I know. They saw our ordinance. So if, if we're not going to take the advice of um, lawyers, uh, that's who we pay. Right. But that's uh, counter uh, that counter they're, they're the, they're the professionals, not me. I know. I know. Uh, we've had this conversation before. Whether it's the auditor or lawyers or whoever, that's our whoever. we take the advice of the professionals that are, are guiding us, and, and that's what I'm doing. But if you if you you probably didn't see the uh, the first email we got when MMA come back. I and saw said, the whole thing. Yeah, and when they come back and said that you guys are the author of the warrant. I, I appreciate that. Yeah, and, and, and you're and you're not. I know so that you got that wrong too. So, I mean, we can discuss this and all that, but at the end of the day. Um, I just don't want to see a committee doing what another committee's job's doing. So if you fine. can go back to the Warrant Committee, Warrant Finance, and see if they want to take this task on, then we can start readjusting the uh, your duties. And we'll see if they uh, you know, think they, it is under the yeah what they're supposed to be doing. I, I don't know. I have to have the conversation right. with the committee. I mean, I'm just a chair. I don't make I guess, the decisions. I guess you know if it's something that they felt like taking on then you know it's up to us to make sure that you know things get fixed within the ordinance and stuff yeah. you know changed whatever okay whatever works well, i'm just trying to work with everybody all righty okay see. down to new business plow and goat hill parking lot uh, so Carl Davis spoke to me about this. I did speak to Mr. Langley, who intended on being here, and also uh, just texted me about, you know, being yeah. out. But anyways, um, so people are parking. It is a town property. People are parking on the side of the road to get in there and snowshoe or walk. And um, are you okay with him plowing it? I am. We had already gone through this um, like a year, year and a half ago. Right. And it's, right. I mean, it's town yeah. property, and people are utilizing it in the winter. No. We probably should. Right. Well, yeah. So you're okay with that? No. Yeah. I think okay. maybe he just didn't realize it because... When it was oh, you think we already? Yeah, you mentioned yes, that. I we, couldn't find it in the minute. So. But I know we had talked yeah, about it and possible. stuff. So. Okay, damn bill has TM. Is the damn bill all right? So the work is done at um, Emory bill. Mills is done, finished, done, everything. We need more Grand money. total of Acton's portion is ninety three thousand four hundred and fifty four dollars. We budgeted seventy five thousand. We need eighteen thousand four hundred and fifty four dollars. Um, they said net thirty days. Uh, we need to have a special town meeting to okay. decide what the voters want to do. Looking at possibly February 3rd. It's a day that works for the treasurer and myself. It's a Monday night. Monday night. February possibly 3rd. works for you guys. Um, February 3rd, Monday night. So we have, we have to, we only appropriated 75, so we have to ask the voters. So we get enough time to get it all set up, yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. 
nothing else. So I'll contact Warren of Finance. We'll get it on. Um, we might. 27th. That might be kind of close. We might have to talk. Um, and nothing else before I start working on a warrant or anything that you plan on putting on this special town meeting? Oops, sorry. I wasn't listening. Any other warrant articles that you would want on this special town meeting? I think we're all set at the fire station, correct? And this is a special, so it's got to be, yeah, emergency. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, you remember when we were doing the hiring, we were talking about maybe having to get some funds to... Oh, yeah, no, they're know, good. I yep. think we're all good with that, yep. So because uh, we originally talked maybe having to do that. Um, you, you thinking anything, Kim? Um, I mean, the I'm only talking. other thing that, that possibly could come up, well, and we use that $15,000 right. from the emergency fund for the fire department furnace. You know, that might be a good we idea to replenish now, right? that in case something I mean, if happens. you put it, because if this furnace dies in the end of February, because this one was yep. supposed to die first, I mean, you, you replenish the fund, it's undesignated funds, you still aren't going to use it unless you follow the same procedure. We know we haven't used it in 11 years, short of this time. It just saves another special town meeting. Oh, no, no. Carries us over and, and June. The thing is, yeah, that's we probably a good idea. The money, we don't use it. It just goes right, right. And right, like, so. we don't usually ever use it. So, all right, I'll um, yep. put something together for next week and start working on a warrant. Yeah, that's on there twice. Yeah, First we financial did resources. That. Yeah, I was going to say, didn't that we just do that? That is the collections that? contract. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we just did that, didn't we? We did. Yeah. Okay, demo overdraft. So um, the yeah. demo line in the transfer station is uh, only got about six hundred dollars left in it. Is going to overdraft. Um, it has overdrafted. La it overdrafted last year. Um, the bottom line does not overdraft. Um, right. He's got money within other budget, other lines of his budget to offset it. Um, but based on your verbal policy that you wanted to hear ahead of time, if it overdrew, um, right. So this is. Um, for Michelle, Bob and I are requesting the board uh, to deliberate at your weekly meeting and grant the go-ahead to overdraft the line going forward while keeping a close eye on the other lines to make sure the overall department budget doesn't go over. Um, as I mentioned before, we're working with Bob on his next budget. So now that we've seen a pattern over two years, we'll adjust that demo line for next year so we hopefully won't overdraft again now that we know what's happening consistently. I think you find when, the, when building, there's a lot of building going on in town. Yeah economy is good that a lot of demo ends up up the transfer station. and that's what right. we thought last year's maybe it was just a fluke thing but so is it are you okay with us continue him continuing yeah. to overdraft yes. that line and we'll yes. watch the bottom line okay okay what's next here e9 e911 appointment yep so uh christina robinson is our e911 coordinator uh we originally appointed her for a six month period it has gone well she's done a Exceptional job for the town in that role. Uh, so Ken is recommending that we uh, reappoint. We're gonna no. just carry it through June so that she gets on the same appointments as everybody else. And then yep. going forward, it would be a year. I'd like to make a motion that we appoint uh, Christina Robinson as our E911 coordinator. So to Christina Robinson, the selectman of the municipality of Acton, do in accordance with the provisions of the laws of the state of Maine, hereby appoint you as E911 coordinator within and for the municipality of Acton until June 30th, 2002, given under our hand this day, January 8th, 2020. And I'll second that. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> I'll jump in the gun here. Um, vote. All Aye. in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. We'll figure it out. Okay, there you go. Okay, next on the agenda there, fee refund. So we had a possible ZBA case that was going to come before us. Um, it did not have to as the applicant withdrew the permit. Uh, the attorney that was uh, representing the uh, possible person that was um, looking to appeal it is asking for the $200 um, filing fee back as the hearing was never set. Did check with code enforcement um, that no postings were ever made. Um, we didn't advertise it. So there were no out-of-pocket fees. There might have been um, some calls made to ZBA members just to say, you know to make sure they were still available, but we didn't do any actual right steps okay. out of pocket steps so it's two hundred dollars is the fee i'll say give him back the two hundred dollars what's that give him back the two hundred dollars 
So it's not that, you know, we didn't have to. Two. So is that a motion? I make yeah, a I motion. I'm oh, sorry. We're making a motion too, though. Do we need to read it? No, out? you can just say to make we a motion to refund it. Yeah. yeah. We'll That's make fine. a motion to refund the um, $200 fee that was paid for the possible ZBA. Thank you. Case. Paid for the possible ZBA case that was I'll, pulled. I'll second that. There you go. Can you just initial this so I can attach it to the check yeah. request? Okay. Um, we got <sighs> thermal camera. So the fire department uh, has a four to, uh, got a four thousand dollar donation um, for a thermal camera, and he asked that um, we, based on policy, we have to put it out to bid. The camera is going to cost around five thousand dollars, is what he's estimating based okay. on his research. Um, he has a thousand dollars and another uh, supply line to offset the difference, and the money was earmarked for this specific camera, so it's yeah. all can be used on. So. The Active Fire Rescue is currently accepting quotes for an FLIR K55 thermal imaging camera with a vehicle charger. For more information on the specifications, the town is looking for, please contact Chief Rick Smith at 636-3230. Completed sealed bids should be delivered or mailed to the town administrator no later than 4 p.m. Tuesday, January 21st. Do not deliver bids to the fire department. The Board of Selectmen reserve the right to accept or reject any bids. So that's posted. More of an FYI. And the fire chief did approve that. Okay. All right. Okay. We've got a motion that we're going to executive session. I'll make a motion that we go into executive session for a one five dash A. I second that. All righty. David, we're not going to need these tonight. I'll just hold on. I don't think I need it. <laughs> Do I hear a motion to come out of executive session? I will make a motion to come out of executive session 4015-A. Uh, second that. Um, oh. Okay. Um, so during the executive session there, um, we were discussing the vacancy spot on the plan planning board. And um, seeing there, one of the uh, applicants has um, pulled his name or withdrew. that person withdrew its name um, that we have that one that one individual still there um, the board feels that we like to uh, advertise it a little longer see if we can get some more interest and um, what we say a month that's fine it's an yep. alternative position right yeah it's right. just an alternate okay. so it's not okay. a big deal all right um, I think it would be a good idea that you know we just put it out there and just see if because during the holidays and stuff mm -hmm. I don't think a lot of people are really Paying attention, TV, they're busy. Doing yeah. this stuff, they're doing holiday stuff. Right. Okay. So, so we advertise it for a month. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. And um, if I could, could I have the uh, head of the um, finance committee come up, please? You were adding this under new business, right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's unrelated to the. We we're. Um, there, I think it was what two weeks ago. Uh, must three. have been three weeks ago. We had a resignation on the rec committee. And um, we have a, um, a member on the finance committee that we haven't seen a recommend um, um, a Resign letter resignation from that person for that committee. Want to know if you know if there may be one if we should be open in that spot. She hasn't uh, said yet that uh, she's resigning. Uh, if she does, I'll naturally uh, forward it to the board. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. exactly what's going to happen tomorrow uh, or next week or next month um, people make decisions to do things in life and then they change their mind right um, so until this person forwards something uh, with a commitment as long as they're a resident of the town well I mean uh, hold on a minute here we gotta we gotta remember here we got a resignation saying that she, this individual is moving to another state I appreciate that, and we just want to make sure that we we may have interest in this. And someone, you know, some people may be interested in getting on this committee. And uh, before we get into this capital improvement and all these other stuff, there it would be nice that we can get a full board in there. And if that individual is not going to be present, um, I would I'd, I'd rather not see that that spot um, vacant because of someone figuring out whether or not they're going to 
be here or not. Um, I figured we could ask you to uh, address us next week whether or not there was a decision made on it or not, or if we're, 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 we'll have to figure it out. Well, I, I, there isn't a decision. Okay. I have talked to her about it, okay. and she hasn't made a decision. Okay. So she and until timeline? she does. I mean, are there any timelines that we should be following? I mean, have you ever had anything like this before, I guess? Is, uh, until know. somebody resigns from an elected committee. Okay. You can't replace them. So they can hijack the committee? They could take that spot. David, nobody's hijacking any committee. If somebody set, gives a uh, thing saying they're going to resign from a committee because of they're moving, moving away. And that wasn't the only reason. Okay, but they said that's what it was. Wasn't the only reason. Okay, but what happens when we're getting information saying that this person may have moved away and it will be moving away. Okay, we just need confirmation that we're not going to leave this spot open. for. That's what this is. That's what okay. this is, is an alternate position. It's okay. not a voting member. Okay. Okay. But we just we just don't want to see it hang. And if we could find out as soon as possible, we can post that that position too, if that's the case. And if not, as soon as like I as, as soon as I get something, I will pass it on to you guys. Yep. And I don't know when it's gonna be. Okay. You know, people move away and they come back all the time. There's people that, that, there's people they don't live in this town. Yeah. They claim residency in this town. Well, we don't like that. Uh, but it happens. And, and we don't we don't need that on our committees. And well, it's not your place at this point. No, it is. It is. This no, board. it is. It is not. It, this board. This is an elected board. Yeah. By the town meeting, and we're you accountable to the residency. town meeting. You're not a, um, uh, uh, if she changes her residency, exactly. Exactly. So you mean to tell me? It, it's it's good that this person can move away for six months until the next town meeting, okay? And not you come back here and vote. Yes, they can. Yes. Yeah. It's less than six months, right? Yeah. Okay, but well that's what you guys. Isn't said. isn't that accurate, Jen? If they don't claim residency, they keep their driver's license. They're not enrolling enrolled in school. There's I mean there's a long list. I, of I appreciate that. Things. But until you that, meet that, this that criteria, really our, our committees. Okay. It, it, if you, until you meet this criteria. This person is a resident of Acton until she changes her residency by whatever, you know, that you're talking about. And, and I appreciate that. Um, but I think it's premature to think that we need to uh, replace this member at this point. I mean, I've been listening about this for two or three weeks, uh, ever since she put in a resignation from different people. And we haven't done this with any other committee in town. We haven't done it with committees uh, that are appointed. they are appointed by the selectmen. Uh, when people have met, have missed month, two months, six months, a year. Actually, we and and and, and 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 it wasn't addressed. We had showed patience in it. I think, and, and and we I think it was it. just we got one resignation. We were thinking we were getting, right, and that was one. all. I mean, it was just that it was, was that they in, in, two different things. I mean, if the individual, in, as far as people missing meetings, if the selectmen don't hear from it from the chairs of the committee, they may not know that. I mean, they should follow up themselves. But it's different. The board has never been told or publicly seen or it, it being advertised that someone's moved out of state. That's all they're trying to follow up on. And she hasn't. She hasn't moved out of state. Okay, and that's all there. She's still living in Acton. That's all there is. Exactly. Molly's still in the school in Acton. Don't, don't say names. No names. I'm sorry. <laughs> I try not to say names, though. Well, I'm going to say it because my granddaughter, and she so, has. Anyway, and I can say note, it, and so she has a school in Acton. Just keep us updated. Up. That's all. You know? yeah. We just like an update. That's and all. like I said, if she gives me something, I'll pass it forward to the town administrator, and she can pass it forward to you guys. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, I guess we're going to go down to public comment. I shouldn't, have, I shouldn't have walked off. Oh, jeez. Yeah, quite a few years ago. Here comes the story. Uh, I don't remember when it was, but it's when Acton stopped using Sanford's ambulance service. Uh, we started our own ambulance. And one of the pride of, of the ambulance was the service they gave to everybody. And another thing that the Ambulance Association always did uh, was waived the fees um, from people that uh, couldn't afford to pay above and beyond um, what their insurance would pay. When it was presented to the town a few years back, 
about the town taking over the ambulance, uh, Bill Catanzi was sitting up here, and I got up and I asked that question, how that was going to work, because we still have many people in town uh, that can't afford above and beyond what their insurances will pay, and he said uh, it's going to stay the same way. Okay, this is what the people were told, and I think that is why we have so many back bills as fire chiefs have changed and this one's changed and and that we got into this uh we like you had uh last month conversations about how many years are we going to go back and we got a whole draw for all these bills or whatever uh i think it's wrong that we're sending this stuff to a clutchance agency uh there's ways that you don't have to. There's other ways to a conversation uh, that we can make this work for all the citizens in town, the people with money, the people without money. Uh, and, and I just think it's wrong what you guys did tonight. So just to quickly follow up. So we do, um, anyone is always welcome to, and the board is working on a hardship policy, and anyone is always welcome to write to the collection, write to the billing company or the board of selectmen and ask for something to be waived. We actually have one that I'm forwarding to you. I mean, it's really anyway. for, for the board to say, well, you got money, you don't. Some of them, that's, Dennis, a lot of these, some tough. of these people don't live in town. Some of them don't even live in the state. Um, well, I'm just saying that some, the purpose of the collections, it's not all, I mean, it, it, the board still has leniency and can look at it, but right. I, I don't want you to think that all these people are, are acting residents. I don't I'm, think, I don't. Okay. So even, I mean, so do you disagree with like, let's just say somebody from Sanford got in a car accident and acted and acted and responded. Um, if they don't have any money, they don't have any money. Okay, so it's all, so I just want to make sure I'm understanding. So it's the collections it's, all together it's, piece it's that the, you. It's the, un, the unfortunate okay. well, no, thing. I just wanted to make sure. unfortunate thing about this is, you know, it does, it would be really nice if we didn't have to charge them at all. Mm. Um, but there is a cost, and obviously if they can't afford it, it is, if they come in with some sort of hardship, you know, it's not our problem if they can't come to us to say, but we have to charge everybody equally, okay? You know, I, I don't know how much money you got. I don't know how much money he's got. Okay, we're not going to do a tax ID on each and tax get their tax papers. Every want to see which one deserves to get whatever. But if they have hardship, they can come to us and we. we'll we do. If you're fine with people feeling they can't call the ambulance because they can't afford to call, can't can't afford to pay you for know, it, I, and, I, and and you do I, have I, responsibilities I, to the people, and it, it, you are accountable to the people, and. If, if our taxes have to go up X amount of dollars so that everybody that uses that service uh, gets a free service, then that's the way it is. That's, that's okay. the way it is. It should be put to the people to decide, not a couple of people sitting up here. <laughs> well, at the end of the day, you know, people have insurance. Um, I know people who make a lot less money than I do that have a better insurance plan than I do, Dennis. Okay. And um, that don't have any. but we, we just can't let this stuff slide, and we Same can't do it individually. And I know you, you, you seem to think that we're doing the wrong thing here, but we're trying to clean the paperwork up here because it wasn't done right for so many years, and we can't just forgive it all. It was done according to how the it, we were told. Oh, well, that's bull, anyways. But no, uh, Paul, not bull, David. I, I hate it when you do that. Paul, fact. You want to speak and get up. If you want to speak, Be get up respectful. here. No fighting. Okay. You can, you Stop. can get up here and talk like everybody else does. Both of you. Paul, please speak. Paul Poyant. Um, I have three items based on what I have have heard uh, during the course of the meeting tonight. Um, if my nickel runs out, feel free to let me know. Um, first of all, the, the recycling, I heard that the, the income is less this year. Is that because we're recycling less or because for a given volume of, of materials, we're getting less for it? We're both. We're getting less. For it. I think we're getting less. They're paying us less. But we're Price. still recycling at a reasonable rate, I hope. Yes. Yep. Yes. Great. Yep. Um, you were talking about the lights here. Can I assume that these are still fluorescent? Yes. Are we talking about the fans, you mean? Well, not the fans, but I, I thought there was some donation of lights that we oh, couldn't no, accept. Oh, no, fans. Or so uh, we had a don donation of fans that were going to go in this room. Ah, okay. So I heard lights. Sorry. 
Maybe uh, so I mean, these are the last. This, room, or, or this is the last room that are these fluorescent. Most of the buildings have been turned over to the LED. Right. But no, these were donations of fans. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. So what I was going to mention is that I've converted some portion of my home to LEDs, and they're cheaper to run, and they don't buzz, and they don't flicker, and best things in sliced bread. So you might want to consider that if you had. But it sounds like you have already. Um, third thing is. Um, if you're going to uh, tap into the um, Wharton Finance Ordinance, you might want to also at the same time tweak the little uh, the thing about uh, the new membership and, and the alternate uh, the two-year yeah. thing to keep everything balanced because we did have a problem with that previously. Offset, yeah. And I, I think I could dig up some verbiage that I came up with at the time that you know, we could kind of hit it all at once. Yeah, I actually have all of your notes from that last time they talked about changing cool. it. You had some some suggestions that if it gets to that point, I'll certainly bring right. it back to the board. Thank you. That's, That's it. Idea. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Anybody else? Good on. Oh. Hello, Susan Mann. Um, to go back to the ambulance. The what? I, ambulance. Oh, ambulance. Yep. So I noticed, unfortunately, I had to use them. And um, so I did have a balance, because I have like a $7,000. So anyway, I had a balance of a few thousand. And I noticed with a lot of my other bills from the hospitals, they would say on the bottom, if you cannot pay this in full, call us to set up a payment plan. Right. They didn't have anything like, any verbiage like that on their bill. And I think that they would should. solve a bazillion problems. Because if somebody sees a bill for $2,000, they just like, whoa! Right. And then they say, I don't have the money. And then they shove it in a drawer or whatever it is they do with that. If they're encouraged to call and to set up a payment plan, but you have to have that verbiage on the bill. Otherwise, so on there. Yeah. they just freak out. I honestly believe well, that. That's, that's a good and what I did is I just automatically just made payments. Right. And I made reasonable size payments. You know, I think there were 150 a month. So nobody bothered with yeah. me. Yeah. But most of the hospitals, they want you to call them. They're not putting you into collection or no. anything like that. They just want to know what can you afford to pay and what can we expect to see. So I think... Whoever you go with, you should have some type of verbiage like that on the bill because you didn't. You can look at it. I, yeah. I, I agree I with that. Yeah, I'm yeah. I am surprised it's not on there, and that's something you're, you're absolutely right that the billing company would deal with. So the goal is to never make it to collection. So I wrote okay. a note. I'll definitely send him an email first thing tomorrow. Good suggestion. Right, should yeah, be on because there, the right. hospital bills, I'm I mean, any bills you get usually have, you know, call this number, even if it's $10 a month, they, they'll yeah. take that. And they work on commission, work remember. To get more and a lot 10. of times, they'll send you financial paperwork if you can fill it out. Sometimes it'll pay it, pay it off for you, too. The, yeah, but I'm not, right, but what if somebody is I'm just talking about not, the like, really um, yeah, I know. indigent, and, you know, I just... I had yep. way too many bills come in at once. I, I couldn't give them $2,000 right. at once, yep. you know, because I had so many other bills. So I just it's something that should be on there, reason, definitely. And it wasn't. And all the hospital bills have that verbiage on there. You call them up, yep. and they go, what can you afford? Okay. And that's it. And they write it in their notes, you know, Susan Meehan's going to no, pay no, nobody X wants amount. Nobody to put anybody in collections, but mm -hmm. unfortunately... So many calls in a year, thousands and thousands of dollars. You know, there's a way to make things right. Nobody right. wants to do that. But, but I think sometimes the psyche of seeing a large bill right, can scary, freak yeah. out people. And then they just panic. And like I said, they put the bill in the drawer or something. I mean, it's not the way I operate. But I know people get freaked out. Oh, yeah. There's Especially no if you have a medical problem. You know, the, um, I, my, my son... Had a religious reaction, nuts. It was a thousand dollars go from the Sanford High School, the old Sanford High School, to the hospital. <laughs> thousand, thousand dollars, dollars. A thousand bucks, you know. And so I, I feel your pain. <laughs> 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 so it, it stinks, but uh, uh, honestly, you know, this is just this is this is how we have to do it, you know. Because unfortunately, there's a lot of people that just wouldn't pay it, you know. And, right, but I think a lot, a lot of, of times people freak we gotta, out. We got to look at it, you know. There's people who will pay it. 
there's people who can't pay it then there's people who just won't pay it but if so, you have that verbiage if somebody right. can't pay it they'll call whatever number is available gonna, we'll make sure that and rick it, and those yeah. guys get that and then That's then you idea. guys can yeah. decide if you want to you know just write yeah. it off yeah. or not yep yeah. yeah. but i will call the billing company tomorrow right okay. thank you thank you for that anybody else all right we got some announcements transfer station is going to be closed january 20th for martin luther king day um that's all i could come up with okay I don't, I don't the have meetings anything. are on the schedule so right. i'm on the count on the yep. website blah 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 so yeah, i don't so bother posting them oh and we have beans beans if anybody beans. needs beans I have, these are new beans these are not old beans these no, are new these beans. are new ones we have new donations and more beans. beans okay uh oh. do i hear a motion i make a motion to adjourn i'll second that answer Okay. okay.